Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you a tool to test your website speed. It's called Pingdom and here you can analyze the load speed of your website. It identifies which elements are fast, are slow or are too big, all for a better end user experience. So I'm going to use some websites from site of the day and I'm going to try this tool so you can you guys see how it works, all right? So I've randomly selected three of them and I'm going to start with this one. So you just need to copy the link and just have to paste it here. And you can choose where you want to test it from, from which server. So if you want, uh, like your target is worldwide, so I would make like an average. I would test these four of them, these four servers, and then I will make an average. And don't worry if you find that in Australia everything is very, very slow because that's very common. So I'm just going to leave it here, like in Stockholm, in Sweden. So just have click on Start Test. So if you scroll down, you can see here the load time, performance grade. So this is not bad. It says you have a B, which is good. And the load time is 1 second 33. I think the, um, the, 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 the average time should be not maximum than 3 seconds. So here you can get some insights and see what are you failing at and what is pretty good right now. But for me, the best part is keep on scrolling down. So here you can see the file request. So you can sort it by load, load order, file size, file type, um, URL or load time. So here you can see which elements are, are taking too long to load. So you might need to correct them. So far they're not bad, although they're too over here that might take a little bit but let me check the loading time was one second yeah it was pretty good so what you can do is I'm gonna sort this loading time so this is the longest it's from Instagram it can, this is clickable so you can actually see what's going on here it weighs almost one megabyte so yeah if this is just an icon what you should do is optimize this and get it to wait a little bit less than this. This is way too much for an icon. So I'm not sure where this icon is here. Yep, it's this one over here. So for being icon, this is way too big. Yes. Let's check this one over here, but I think it's the Facebook icon next to it. Yep, exactly. So I would optimize these icons over here and get them to load faster and then test it again. But this, I mean, you can correct it. So, so far we can check others. These are pictures too. It's not bad. The size is okay. All right. So let's check another one now. So this is the one that I've just checked. Let's check this one over here. Sorry, I'm going to delete these. Okay, so scroll down. Okay, so the performance grade, we get a D. This is not good. So there's something here. You can see the performance insights. There are things that are pretty good. Others are not really good so I'm going to check the pictures because that's the easiest part to correct and I'm going to to sort this loading time okay so we've got a picture here it takes mm, a second to load so this is too much so I'm going to check which picture is this all right I think this picture is yeah it's the home is the it's in the header so you could optimize this and let's check this one over here and the footer. Okay, so this is the, the picture before. Yes. And this is supposed to be the footer. Yep. Okay, so this is way too big. This picture is way too big to be in the footer. So this tool is great, so it tells you which pictures or which photos you have that they're way too too heavy. So for somebody who wants to view this site on a mobile phone, it's going to take them a bit longer to view this. Remember, it's a smaller device, it's not the same as your desktop. 
So the rest seems okay, but I think you get the D because of this. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I'm going to check the last one, this one over here. I'm going to delete these pictures here. And let's check this from somewhere else like California. Start test. Okay, so performance grade, we get a D2. So there's some things here that are good. Let's see about the images here. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to sort this by loading time. So first thing here, we have a widget, which is taking a bit too long. And here we have a GIF. Yeah, the GIF, the size is way too big. It's 5.8 megabytes. That's way too big. So you should optimize this. So that's why it takes too long to view it. Yeah, this is the GIF. The problem with GIF is that the size is usually too big. So you should be a bit careful with that. It looks very good on your website, but you should optimize it. So you can try with the same. And let's say, let's check another server. Let's check Australia. So don't worry because the loading time here is going to be way, way, way higher than one, than two seconds, sorry. Okay, so we still get the same result. We have a D and the loading time it takes in Australia, it takes longer. So don't really worry about this because it would depend on where, where you are, where's your server and from which server are we testing this, okay? So people from Australia, they might always have this problem when they visit an, another website. Okay, so I hope you like the tutorial. I hope this tool is very useful. Here you can learn how to optimize your, your elements and which are the ones that are way too big and way too slow to load. Thank you very much for watching, guys.